Profiles is certainly a robust email calendaring and collaboration solution. However, performance can take a hit if user accounts are allowed to grow unchecked. The place to start is with a policy. Define what your mail cleanup policy will be and then put it into action. If you are required to retain mail, then add that retention piece into the policy. Our Guava solutions might be a great place to start. Keep in mind that you can have exceptions to these policies. Perhaps you have a group of users who need a different cleanup policy altogether. Grouping those users together on a unique post office can make it easier to deliver that unique policy. Here are three quick options for cleaning up mail. One way to limit growth is to push the burden to the individual user. You can set up disk space limits at the individual user level, you can set it at the post office level, or you can set it for an entire domain by accessing the client options. Let's have a look and set this up at the post office level. Open the post office object, then click on the client options button here at the top, then click on the send tab, and finally the disk space management menu here in the left panel. I'll turn on user limits by checking this box. I then enter the space limit I want to enforce. Let's say a single gigabyte and we'll put an 80% warning threshold. This means that when a user is over the 80% mark, they will get a little warning when they send a new message. Once they exceed the full limit, they are no longer allowed to send messages and they get a pop-up window with suggestions on how and what they might clean up. I like this option because it allows the user to determine what is cleaned up and what they keep as long as they are within the disk space limit. Auto cleanup is another way to keep things tidy. Again, under user options, this time under environment, then cleanup. Here you can set up auto delete in three different categories, mail and phone messages, calendar items, and the trash. If we have a 60 day retention policy on mail, I set that here and again here. I'll keep the trash at seven days. I do want to point out these lock icons. If I leave these open, then the user can override these settings and they become nothing but default suggestions. If I lock them, then it forces the setting down to the users and they will be unable to modify these settings in the client. Note the icon that shows up next to the lock here. This shows you the level of the lock, whether it's user, post office, or domain. The third and final option for cleaning up is to use the maintenance options. I'd run this against the post office by opening the properties of the post office, then clicking the maintenance button and choosing mailbox library. Here you can select to delete items with a fairly wide range of options. Manually running this every day or every week is fine, if you like that sort of thing. Another option is to set this up as a scheduled event on the post office agent object so that it happens automatically. So let's open that post office agent, properties, click scheduled events, add new, give it a name like cleanup, decide when you want it to run, weekly is probably good for this, how about Fridays and let's say 5 p.m. Now a new event expire and reduce is the action and set these values up based on your policy. Finally, make sure you check the box to enable the action and you're done. As always, check the documentation for more details and check out the other videos we have in this channel. Thank you.